Hello everybody. On this video I want to tell you something about the safety parameters on Aegis GRC. This is model GAN 2000 GAN 901B. So what is the main safety parameters for you during the sailing should be on. So at first we are going on the top menu IS and target settings. So press the IS and target. So should be switched on all. So it will display all targets from the radar and uh, IS targets on the chart. So and uh, what about settings? Settings, IS and target settings. Press this button, you will see the next window. So the main for you is CPA and TCPA limit. CPA and TCPA you will insert as per uh, usually as per your master standing orders. But, for example, in the deep sea sailing, minimum CPA you can choose the 2 nautical miles and TCPA 15 minutes. So, if some target will approach to you with CPA 2 nautical miles or less, so you will receive the warning message on the main display. So, also in this window, you can see the IS filter. But IS filter is not needed to use in the deep sea. It's just for the area like a Singapore Strait, Malacca Strait, where there is a lot of uh, vessels around. So in that area you can use the IS filter. So after press the apply and OK. Next one, own ship track. In own ship track. Press the bottom setting. So, in own ship settings, you will see the next window. Just ship name, it will display to your ship name. Own ship symbol, you will change some uh, parameters, vector time, display past track, color, track route, and past position. So, you will need danger detection. Press the bottom set alert limit so in this window you will choose the look ahead area they also should be on difference between position 1 and position 2 if difference between two gps more than one nautical miles you also will receive the warning message shift of position course difference early course change end of track so the look ahead it's a vector or sector so you can choose on the GRC Agdis vector with length maximum 5 nautical miles on GRC is maximum 5 nautical miles ahead and width maximum 250 meters on the GRC Agdis maximum 250 meters port and starboard corridor so or you can choose this sector Sector also with radius maximum 5 nautical miles and uh, width up to 359.9 degrees angle. So normally you can choose 90 degrees maximum radius and area. Switch all these areas, press OK, apply OK. So you will see this sector like this. This is uh, 5 nautical miles radius and uh, 90 degrees angle. So if some of that areas which you switched will inside this sector, you also will receive warning or caution message on the main display. So the next. The next we are going to the chart. Press the button chart on the top menu. Settings. So press the S57 C map RC button. So in this window you will set the one of the main parameters for you during the sale and it's a shallow contour safety contour, safety depth and deep contour so all this 
information you will insert as per your calculation, as per your passage plan. So, and I am advising you to keep it on every time. Four shades, shallow patent and shallow water danger should be on. And display category, base, standard and other. Choose that all. So in the view, you can check, you can change the areas which will display on the chart. So if you are using uh, S57 chart, you will choose this. If you are using CMAP, you will choose CMAP. So in the layer, in this window, you will choose what the information will display it on the chart. So for the good information, uh, for the full information of the charts, I am advising you to switch that all, except accuracy, highlight date, highlight info, and highlight documents. So during the selling, you don't need this information. It's only this information will only waste the chart with the space on the chart so accuracy you will need only during the prepare and passage plan for the checking you will see this is the accuracy during the sailing accuracy is not needed so and headlight date headlight at four headlight documents is also not not necessary for you it it will only waste the space on the chart so after press the apply and OK. And what about the Navtex? If your Navtex is synchronized with Agdis, so where can you find the Navtex? Also go into the chart on the top menu, settings and press the other chart. Other chart. So in this window you will see the Navtex mark. So it should be on. All this information should be on. So if you will switch off, you will not see the notices from uh, Navtex. If your Navtex is synchronized, it should be on at all time. Press apply. OK. And also don't forget about the EIO temporary and preliminary notices. So where you can switch this function to see the temporary and preliminary notice. Go on the top menu to the chart, press the chart. So view EAU by the left click, press on the mouse, the left click. You can see now it's on. This bird should be here. So now you can see on the chart temporary and preliminary notices. So this was a small video about the safety parameters on exit GRC. So if this video was useful for you, you can subscribe on my channel where you can find also another useful videos. And press the like. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Safe sea.